Hey guys, and welcome back to Schneid's 15. Today we're uh, putting an impeller in a 90 horsepower Yamaha. This should be very similar from uh, about a 70 horse up to about 115 horse. Uh, the 150s, 200s, all the four cylinders and stuff are going to be very, very close, guys. Even on the smaller 50 to 60, the same principle. Um, <clears throat> but, anyways. On this one, uh, it's a 90 horse and we're gonna change the impeller. So we gotta pull off our lower unit. Uh, let's get started. All right, so first off, pull this rubber cap out of here. Set that aside. And we're gonna take a short extension here with a 12 mil on the end of it. Put that in there, you'll find the bolt. It's, it's down in there, you'll find it. And uh, it might take a bit to get the right angle. There we go. We'll remove that. Attaches to your anode or your trim tab. Set that aside. You can leave the bolt in there. Come underneath right here. There's going to be another 12 mil bolt. Pull that out. Here we go. We're done underneath there. Next, come to your side here. You got a 916. Undo that and this one, and then we'll repeat that on the other side. I forgot to mention that you can leave this motor in neutral. That's how I prefer to take them off, and I'll show you why. All right, I have removed all four bolts. Sometimes these will slide off. If they haven't been off in a while, they might take a little bit of a hit. So usually you can just give it a little bit of a wiggle like this and it'll start just like that. There we go. You just pull that straight down. Right here, what I forgot to mention is you have a pitot tube at the front. Uh, some of these will be removed, some won't. Uh, Got that step. Don't make mistakes. Just let me get that to the side. There's usually just a zip tie on these guys, which there is there, so we'll cut that off. That'll come off. My bad. Anyways, you just pull down, it'll get tight for a bit, and there we go. We're off. Now, let's get this thing on the bench and uh, get an impeller put in it. Alright guys, so for video purposes, I have laid this drive down. Normally you do this standing up. Um, anyways, take uh, your 12 mil again and... Here we go. Now, you can pull up. On here. It's either gonna come out with that cup on there or on the actual, it should stay on your, in your housing. So we'll pull this off now. Sometimes they need a bit of help, which we're going to need. I'll get you a bit of a view here. This one needs a lot of help. Wow, that's a tight one. All right, so we're new, ready for our new impeller. There's your part number right there. I recommend going with a Yamaha one, guys. They're built a lot better than the aftermarket ones. At my work, we're an aftermarket dealer for Sierra Parts. 
Um, but to be honest guys, I get them for about half the price at Sierra and I still go with the Yamaha ones because uh, they're built that much better. I prefer them. They got all these little ribs on here and stuff. Um, anyways, you got your keyway, which mine is right here. And on the other side, there will be a slot in it. So you can only put it one way. On some of the aftermarket ones, you might be able to put them both ways, but on the genuine Yamaha ones, uh, they have the keyway right here and not on this side. So it has to go down that way. Anyways, we're gonna take some uh, little bit of marine grease and we're gonna put it on the shaft here so it slides easier down onto it. All right, so if your uh, cup your cup came out of the inside of your impeller like mine, um, you can put that back in. There's a notch for it in there. We'll slide it down in. All right, so our next step, once we're installed, this is the little nub I was telling you about right there. Um, we're gonna take some marine grease, coat the inside of this. One of those things, guys, you don't have to do. Um, it's the way I was taught though. I'm gonna put the rest on the fins of the impeller just to eliminate the dry startup of it for the first time. It's just what I was taught to do, so that's the way I do it. If you don't feel that you need to do it, don't do it that way. So now, uh, you'll notice that that's a lot bigger than our cup here. Uh, so as you can see, our old one here is hard and bent. That's all right. Um, that's what happens over time. That's why we're replacing this. Uh, anyways, you see how it's bent like that. So what we gotta do now is turn this clockwise. So what we're gonna do is take this and slide it over the end of our, we're gonna line it up. Make sure your dowels are in. You got one here and the one in the center up here. here. So we're gonna take our uh, cup here, our housing, slide it over. And once we get up to here, guys, we're gonna turn this shaft counterclockwise and push. Er, sorry, clockwise and push. So here we go, we're against. Start turning clockwise. There we go, just like that. Eliminates putting the impeller in here and twisting it and sliding it down. We're done, guys. We can slide our bolts back in and snug them up. All right, so with all those snugged up, we're gonna take some grease and just put it on our shifter coupling here on the splines. Gonna also take some, put it on where our water tube attaches right here. It'll help it slide in there. We're also going to put some on the shaft right here. There's a line on it where there's a bushing. So we're going to put some on there. We're also going to go to the end of our shaft and uh, put some on the splines up here. So when that shoves up through our oil pump and into our engine, uh, it'll be a lot easier to slide in there and it's good for it. All right guys, so to go back on, you start shoving up in there. Next, take your pitot tube and put it on here. There's actually a splice back in here. I forgot to tell you guys that, that you're not actually supposed to pull it out where I did. I made the mistake of not pulling it off. Slide that up in, get your pitot tube started. And pull it through this side all right guys so for going back on I was trying to show you before but uh, you got to make sure your shift shafts lined up 
uh, and you got to make sure your pitot tube comes through the top here. It's a little bit tricky. That's why I had trouble filming it. I just got this hanging on one bolt right now just so I can show you and there's a water tube that your impeller will hit up top. Uh, everything else, uh, your splines and your drive shaft, as you can see I was moving the motor back and forth a little bit there. You got to do that a bit. You'll find them and then you can, uh, like doing it in neutral like this, you, you can find it. Then just twist your lower unit back straight and uh, you're good to go up. Some guys leave them in gear and then you can turn your propeller and it'll twist your drive shaft and line it up with the splines up top. But this way I prefer because uh, it's a easier, way easier to line up your uh, neutral splines when it's in neutral or your shift splines when it's in neutral. All right guys, that finishes up our uh, 90 horsepower uh, Yamaha impeller change. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do different, of course. I never torque these bolts, but you're welcome to. I usually give them a good hand tight and snug, and you're good to go. Make sure you put your bolt in back here and your bolt in through the top for your trim tab. Put on your rubber grommet, and uh, you're good to go. Just make sure it shifts right and start it up, and make sure it's pumping good water, guys, and uh, you're good to go. Like I said, I recommend the Genuine Yamaha impellers for sure, just because I like the quality of them. Uh, otherwise, uh, that's everything. If you have any uh, other marine related uh, issues that you need help with, check out my other videos. And uh, don't forget to give me a rate and a subscribe, guys. Thanks. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.